Hello, Common Sensors. This is the Common Sense Academy. We got a good one here today, okay, of a, 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 a right to travel, a free traveler getting pulled over by the police uh, while it appears that he's intoxicated. And let me tell you, he cites the right to travel, corpus delecti, gold fringed flag, every single sovereign citizen theory out there comes out of this guy's mouth. Um, and like many of them, he says he's not going to talk to the police and then he just can't stop talking. So enjoy this video. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. This is the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, a free way to support it is to subscribe. Okay, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Most of my viewers actually aren't subscribed. So please subscribe to this show. Just click the button and click the notification as well. Um, and uh, like I said, free way, this show will always be free. So you can support me in small ways. So get me a subscribe. When I get to 10,000 subscribers, I can do cooler stuff with my videos. Now, before we watch this free traveler, raise your glass in the air, say cheers, because it tastes better when we sip together. Let's go pens. Ah. Diet Coke. This video is kind of long and it's mostly oral, but let me tell you, it's good. And I wanted to cut it up, but I just couldn't. There's some periods of silence, but then as soon as you get bored, he cla he claps back in. So give this video, um, give it a good shot and enjoy. I got commentary afterwards. Uh, two, we're parked in front of 705 Inland. In front of 705 and one there. Yes, sir. Officer Kane with Naperville Police. Good morning. Stopping you for two reasons. One, we got a complaint about your vehicle over at Walmart, and two, the registered owner of this vehicle is revoked. I need to see your driver's license and the insurance for the vehicle. Oh, sir, I'm actually not driving, sir. Okay. No, you can't. I actually didn't remain silent. And you can Okay, that doesn't change the fact that the registered owner of this vehicle is revoked. Oh, okay, well, I just want to let you know that I'm going to remain silent and you can call your superior. Okay. Have a nice day. Paul, too, they had a bag coming out here. Not at the moment. It's fine. I don't care. Okay. okay, so the complainant at Walmart also reported that they believe that you may be intoxicated. Have you had anything to drink today, sir? They probably yeah. well, no. Okay, why did why did you figure they might say that? Because I, I, I listen, listen, hold on. I tell them that I have the right to travel. Okay? Okay. And people look at me like I'm fucking retarded. So it's not my fault that they are not aware of these things. And it's not my fault that they think that I'm an idiot for it. Because yeah. they haven't heard something before doesn't make it not true. Okay. I told them to look up the facts. If you look up the facts yourself, maybe you would know. It's not my fault that you're retarded. And I tell, and I come up as an asshole, as a douchebag, but it's just my arrogance. Okay. But, I mean, I tell them that all the time, and it's not... And I told them that I had the, the right to okay. obviously say what I want to say because it's the First Amendment right. And you sure. can't sit here and tell me that I can't say what I want to say. Okay. And it's not my fault that you don't like what I'm saying. So I bought my product and I left. I, I'm i sorry. I bartered. Excuse me. I traded, you know, some monetary valuable paper for this TV that I bought. What's wrong with that? Nothing, right? Sure. Okay, then. So, is there a problem here? Okay, sir, you haven't answered my question yet. I'm not answering any questions, because I haven't done anything wrong. Okay. Have I committed a crime? Yes. How? Okay, you are refusing to identify yourself right I now, and I already told that. you that the reason it for the stop is because... Stop and frisking? 
I am not frisking you right now. I'm asking for your ID. I don't need to give you that. I haven't yes, you do. I haven't yes, you do. I haven't committed a crime, sir. What crime have I committed? Okay. I already told I you the reason. You what crime I've, I've already told you the reason for this traffic stop. The reason for the traffic stop is because the registered owner of this vehicle is revoked. Oh, that's fine. But the thing with that is, um, no one in this vehicle... So who's, whose vehicle is this, then? No one in this vehicle is driving. We should are, all make that very clear. Okay. Sure, okay. if you would like to dispute that you were in driving, even though I have you on my dash cam from the uh, gas station, for we're at North Aurora and 59 all the way to here. Okay. Well, you know what? I didn't commit a crime. Um, okay, sir, I... Driving, and if you want to call your superior, you can go ahead, but it's so bad, I'm not answering any more questions. Okay. Great. You can call your superior, though. No, we let's see if we can get him to go with the dog. What's that? The dog is back uh, you might get in later, man. We just we gotta take care of this right now. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Sir, we need you to step out. Step out of the vehicle or I'll force entry in.
Ryan, are you stepping out? Hi. Are we told you? If there's a revolt drive, or there's a revolt right I warned you over and over and over, Ryan, and you refused to step out of the vehicle. I had to ask the question. What was I being arrested for? You guys take a straight man. You're being audio and video recording here. I wasn't driving, man. I was not driving. It's bullshit, man. I do have waiting there. I definitely do. I mean, that's true. Yes, but I'm not high now, man. No, I'm not. Are you guys good? I'm going to get him back. Thank you. That was already great. Bye. Hey, man. 
You know, I I don't understand what the problem is. Man. Are you guys gonna turn my car off? Your car is being seized. How is it being seized? Because you're driving while we're voting a we're voting for DUI. I'm not intoxicated, man. Okay, but you're revoked for a DUI. How am I revoked for a DUI? I've never had a DUI in my life. Ever. Are you not aware of that? Excuse me, have you heard what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said, just not what the paperwork reflects. Okay, I've never had a DUI in my life, man. Ever in my life. I've never had a DUI. Ever. I don't have DUIs. The paperwork's wrong. Do you not know that? I'm, I'm driving. You guys can't seize my car. I just got pulled over for this. Two weeks ago. For the same thing. And if that was the case... They would have seized my car, wouldn't they have? Okay, so I don't see a, uh, a DUI in your record. I don't have a DUI. I have no DUI. I don't I, drink and drive. I, I don't. said that. Okay, but I don't do that. It's a misdemeanor. I have traffic violations, a lot of them. But I don't drive anymore. I no longer drive, and I've already told you that. You guys are absolutely pathetic. It's pathetic to me. It's almost hilarious, to be honest with you. So are you seizing my car? Excuse me, officer. Are you seizing my car? You can't, because I have no DUIs. Is that right, or am I, am I mistaken? Excuse me, officer. I can't hear you, officer. Oh, that's right. I have no DUIs. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, that's ironic. So it's a misdemeanor. Oh, well, guess what that means. Um, now you and Aurora have a lawsuit on your hands, but... It's not my fault. It's just your stupid department's fault. I've already sued you guys once. I mean, you'd think you've learned your lesson. You guys are absolutely moron. Um, I'm sure you're aware of this, though, right? Um, the right to travel. You know that, right? Of course you do. It's something that no government can actually deprive you of. It's ironic because, you know, um, there's no injured party. I don't know anybody that was injured in this incident. Um, corpus delicti, um, seven elements of jurisdiction, the gold fringe flag in the courtroom. Well, let me tell you something. I know too much about the law. Way too much. Probably, I don't know, more than I should know, I guess. But what I'm trying to tell you is, I'm no dummy. But you can keep thinking that I'm a stupid idiot. But, you know, we'll see who has the last laugh, I guess. I mean, it's just free money to me, I guess. But thank you, though. I do appreciate it. It means so much to me. <clears throat> I mean, you know, it's so weird that I drive to the police department all the time. I'm sorry, not drive, excuse me, travel. <laughs> I can't mix those two words up. Because driving is when you do it for compensation, profit, business, or adventure with the corporate state, which I don't do those things. I don't profit from my vehicle. 
I uh, don't make money in my turn. It's not something that I, you know, operate for business. It's just not what I use my vehicle for. Um, I use it for mere travel. That's right. Um, not compensation. You know, freely. Freedom from police interference. As long as I'm not committing a crime. Or suspected of committing one. But apparently to you guys, um, I'm driving. But I've already disclosed to you that I was not driving. I wasn't using my vehicle for business purposes. Profit compensation or adventure with the corporate state. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? But we could both play this game, I guess. I do like free money, though. I just want to keep that in mind for you. So, excuse me, what am I being charged with, officer? I do all license for both. Oh, okay. And what is that? It's driving while you're Oh, it's a class A misdemeanor, right? Yeah. Of course it is. Well, for me it would be, only because, you know, I don't have DUI. Well, you know. Oh, I've never also injured anybody either. On the road. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? I never said you did. I would never do that. Because I don't like to hurt people. Um, just so you know, my background doesn't have any violence in it whatsoever. That's good. None. Let's keep it that way. That's absolutely how I'm trying to keep it. But I constantly get, you know, threatened and harassed and kidnapped by, you know, you guys. Why are you guys kidnapping me? Can I ask you that? Why are you kidnapping me? I did nothing wrong. I went to go get me a TV, watch a movie, and you break my window and tell me that I can't go in my house and tell me that I'm driving when I wasn't. I was traveling. And you want to kidnap me? That's fine. Don't worry about it. I mean, it is what it is, right? Call two out point three. I'll take a door, please. Hey, so. My car is going to be there still, isn't it? Or is it not? Officer? I'm not going to answer any of my questions, are you? Well, I don't have questions either. That's just how you want to play. This dash cam video stop was like a mishmash of uh, the greatest hits of Sovereign Citizen, Free Travelers, uh, mixed up in an alcoholic mixed drink, poured into a, a, a drunk person, and then, and then spit out over um, about 20 minutes of time. Um, you know, it always gets me when these guys say, I'm not going to speak to you, I'm not going to speak to you, and then they can't stop talking. That's what happened to this guy here. Um, so let's see exactly what we were dealing with. Uh, it looks like they got a complaint from Walmart. Um, also, that, that the registration was, had been revoked. Okay, uh, this guy went into Walmart and they probably complained that he was drunk. He was clearly intoxicated. Okay, at the beginning, 
He quotes his first, his Fifth Amendment right, says, I'm not going to talk. Then he tells the officers, have a nice day. Like he thinks by telling them, have a nice day, they're going to leave and just walk away. Like he won. Like he won. Clearly, clearly the alcohol involved. Um, they said, uh, believed that he could, he could be intoxicated. They believed that he could be intoxicated. He kept on saying that he was not intoxicated. He was clearly intoxicated. Sir, if you tell a lie over and over enough, it doesn't make it the truth. It doesn't make it the truth. Um, he then told the story about him going into Walmart and buying a couple of things. He had the receipt. He made a fair transaction. And I guess he went in, the problem, here's the, the problem from the beginning. I think he went into Walmart and told them about being a free, a, a free traveler. Okay, I think he went into Walmart and told them about the right to travel. <laughs> and and then they called the cops on him. Of course they're going to call the cops on you. Number, why are you telling people in Walmart about the right to travel? Okay, I know why. This guy had this guy had one too many drinks. Um, he goes, "It's not my fault. They aren't aware. They think I'm an idiot." I'm just going to let that one stand, okay? I came off as a a-hole, a douchebag. It's just my arrogance. At least he admits his arrogance, okay? At least he admits his arrogance. Uh, he then tried to change the fact that he bought something as Walmart to bartered. Um, he, uh, he said he was not driving at one point, and the officer says, I have you on dash cam driving. You're sitting in the driver's seat. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. He goes, I'm not intoxicated, man. I never had a DUI. Bro, you're about to have a DUI. You're about to have your first DUI. Um, and then, I mean, it really got me when he was in the police car and he literally at a certain point spout off a list of sovereign citizen nonsense for no apparent reason. He, uh, no injured party, corpus delecti, the gold fringe flag. I know too much more than I should, I guess more than I should, I guess. No, you know enough to be dangerous and harmful to yourself, sir, because it's all nonsense. Go back, watch my video with Dale from Fam from uh, King of the Hill, and you'll see the gold, the gold fringe flag nonsense. It is all nonsense. And then at a certain point, he, he says that he's driving, and then he tries to change it to traveling. I mean, you have to be kidding me. He threw in another line that I hadn't heard in a while. He said, he said he was threatened, harassed, and kidnapped by the police. Actually, yes, you were because you were breaking the law, sir. Um, and he just, again, he wanted to, he told himself, he said he wasn't going to talk and then he couldn't stop talking. And then he got sad when the officer would no longer answer his questions. Oh my God. I mean, just too good, too good. This was, you know, just a, uh, a great combination of alcohol, uh, right to travel and sovereign citizen just mixed up into one and and thrown right at us. Um, unfortunately, we only have the dat we only had the dash cam, so this was mostly verbal. But man, was it good! Uh, here's what I'll say: Look, you know these sovereign citizens, they're generally on the right track. You don't want to talk to the police. You don't want to make admissions to the police. You want to exercise your Fifth Amendment right politely. Um, but if they ask you to produce ID in certain states, and I don't know which state this occurred, you do have to present your ID during a traffic stop. Um, you do have to present license and registration. It's illegal if you don't. Regardless, you can be detained for traffic violations in and of themselves, and they can seize your car like the police did here. Man, was he drunk. So um, I feel bad for this guy. I hope that he rethinks, um, you know, a lot of what he said and what he went through and he can seize all that nonsense. Um, this seemed to me the case. And we've talked about the different types of sovereign citizens, the people who get scammed, the people that get into it because they, they're down and out and beaten down by the law, really by themselves. So the people who have been scammed, 
the people who are down and out from the law. Then you have the scammers. Then you have the true believers. This guy was a down and out from the law. You could tell his license was always revoked. He 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 needed a reason to believe that he could drive. And boom, the sovereign citizen ideology gave it to him on a silver platter. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Most importantly, subscribe. A majority of my viewers are not subscribed to my show. If I get to 10,000, I can do some cool like dual screen stuff. I can sell merchandise, all kinds of great stuff. Please get me to 10,000 subscribers. It's a free and easy way to support this show. This show will always remain free. Also, my email list, sign up, get a free PDF, History and Examination of the Sovereign Citizen Movement. Thank you for tuning in today and watching some free traveling.